guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to my May wrap-up, that's not true, to my April wrap-up at May TBR. Oh my god, I just want it to be summer so bad. Today I'm going to show you guys all the books that I read this month in April and the books that I'll be reading in May. But, I technically, basically, didn't finish a book in April. Yes, again, I didn't read that much. But I thought that today was going to be April 31st and then someone told me that doesn't exist and I was like, how can I be so dumb? I thought that April 31st was happening even though I definitely know that that doesn't exist. In my head it just was. I was planning to finish this book today and I will be finishing this book today but I thought that it was still April but it's not. So I will show you the book that I'll finish today on me first so I actually should mention it in my may wrap up but whatever and that is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. I only need to read this teeny tiny bit. I only need to read the last 30 pages. Oh, and let me tell you guys, I have seen all the movies so I knew what was gonna happen in this book. You know what I'm talking about. If you have seen the movies or if you have read the book. But oh my god, I didn't expect it to hit me so hard. I read that part last night and it is really hard for me to cry with a book because it's a little bit harder for me to picture it happening. Like with a movie, I cry much faster than with a book. I think that out of all the um, 78 books that I've read until so far, only four have made me cry and this one made me sob like a baby. And I hear booktubers say that all the time and I'm just like, how can you like really sob about a book? Like that doesn't really happen to me that often. But with this one, oh my god, I, I bawled my eyes out, guys. Like I've never cried this hard with a book. But I really like this book. Um, I don't know if it's my, it's definitely not my favorite in the series. I am kind of like, is this like my least favorite one? Even though I really enjoyed it. So I am giving this book five out of five stars, of course. I mean, it's Harry Potter. Like how can this not be a five out of five stars? Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to read the last 30 pages and then I only need to read The Deathly Hollows and I'm done with the Harry Potter series. The Ice Cream Man! So that was sort of my wrap up part. I feel so bad because I really wanted to read a lot of books this month. I just didn't get to it except for like this past week. I've been reading like crazy. I'm really like in a mooding, mooding read? What? I'm really in a reading mood right now, so the next book that I'll pick up is actually a short story and it is Kindred Spirits by Rainbow Rowell. It is only like 60 pages long, but it's about a girl who was a huge fan of Star Wars and I'm a huge fan of Star Wars. I love the movies and uh, she's like waiting for the movie to come out and she meets these two guys in the line with her as well. And it's kind of a disappointment because she expected there to be like hundreds of people, but there are actually three with her included, I believe so. And I mean, it's Rainbow Rowell and it's Star Wars, so I hope that I'll like it. I think that I'll like it. After that, I'm going to pick up Joe Speedboat by Tommy Bianca. I have already showed these three books like a lot in my last video, but I, uh, something went wrong, okay, with the reading, but I'm still gonna pick this one up because I have to read it for Dutch. It's like around 300 pages, so I hope that I can finish it this week because I'm usually not a big fan of literature, so I just want to get over with it and continue on with reading super good books. Shh. Quiet. Stop it. Shut your mouth. Shh. Shh. It's standing right in front of my door right now. So I really hope that I can read two other books. Uh, I also have to read a book for English and that is The Picture of Dorian Gray. I'm not too sure if I'll really read this book because I've heard that it's really boring and I can just look up summaries on the internet and don't tell it to my teacher. I'll, I'll pretend like I read the book. Okay, so I've mentioned this book in like the past four of my videos and I really, really need to get to it this month and that is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. I was actually participating in the read-along that uh, Heartful of Books made on Goodreads but I had my test week in the week that they started to read this book so I didn't have any time to read it then and I just really want to read it. The cover is beautiful, apparently the story is really good. I mean, look at the good ratings on Goodreads. And I'm just really interested in reading this, so I absolutely cannot wait to dive into this. After City of Bones, I might want to read another fantasy book, so if I want to do that, I'll read The Assassin's Blade by Sarah Day Mass. Like I said in the other times that I've mentioned this book, I just really want to read this. I've heard that these short stories are amazing and I absolutely love Selena. She's like one of my favorite main characters ever. She's just so badass. Um, so I'm very interested to see more of like her uh, backstory and all that kinds of stuff. So if I don't want to read any fantasy after City of Bones, I might pick up Amy and Rogers' Epic Detour by Morgan Matson. Look at how adorable this cover is. It's so cute and gives me such a summery feeling and 
realizing that in two and a half months I will have summer and I'll be going to freaking America. I uh, oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And I really need to get like the summery feeling. So if I read Morgan Matson, that's probably gonna happen. And uh, she's also bringing out another book in two days, The Unexpected Everything. And I really want to get that book, but I might get it when I'm in America. So we will see. Okay, I'm so weird, but I'm just so excited, okay? So those were all the books that I read in April, although I technically didn't finish a book in April, and the books that I'm planning to read in May. Let me know in the comments down below what book you have read or which books you have read in April and what you are planning on reading. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. You can also follow me on Goodreads, Snapchat, and Instagram. I will leave the links to that in the description down below as well, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.